Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step process how you can easily use Bolt Upsell for your Shopify store. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'll just click here Add Application. When I have it, I'll just install it on my Shopify store, Install App. And now start free trial. Trial ends July 14. And here we go. Terms of service, you must accept and grade. Okay, accept and continue. And now, welcome to the Bolt Upsell. Thanks for installing. If you need a hand, okay, get started in minutes. Create a first offer and test it. Sell more with Brian. You can do it and edit if you want to. Ready to roll. So, in the moment when you're gonna be here, let me zoom out a little bit. You're going to see the basic information. Uh, great offer. Upsell offer flow. So here you're going to have the design and build the offer you want to provide to your customers. Upsell trigger and upsell needs to start somewhere. So specific products to trigger an offer or set the offer to trigger on every product. So I'll just click here, set a product, set a offer. And now trigger even add to cart or before checkout. So we can go with the add to cart. So or before checkout, it's completely up to you. And how it works that you can have like cart options. Uh, add to offer the product to the cart or upsell. And now trigger products, products and upsell needs to start somewhere. So it's specific product to trigger an offer or set an offer to trigger on every product. We can go for every product. What does it mean? Is that let's say someone would add to cart a product and then there would be the offer would appear that, okay, you can also buy these products or you can do it also before checkout. So you can choose both if you want. To. And then we're going to the upsell offer. Now you get to decide what you want to offer to your customers and how you want it to work. Offer. So we see it right here. Title. Don't miss out on this. description and you just like select product i have like prepared here product and now offer options allow customers to select more than one product in offer allow customers to set product quantities in the offer so you see it right here that you can have upsell too now you can have like also the upsell funnel here and then you're gonna see the conditions so only show your offer if the trigger within start and end date. Or card value. Only show your offer if the customer's card value is within the range you specify with this setting. So let's say only if they're going to have like $50 of value in their card in that moment, um, you're going to offer them something. So this is how you can set up the conditions. And then you're going to see also make the product image or product names, a link in the product page or you can hide the products that are out of the stock. So that's what I will do and click save offer. So this is how it works. Then in offers, you can simply come click here again, create offer. Set a trigger, add to cart, hide product, save offer. Yeah, but I don't want to have upsell offer. Okay, so we would have the products here. Let's have also the, the upsell offer. And you just like need to set this up. If you can have like a lot of uh, titles, you, this is for filtering. Okay, and then save offer, and voila, no thanks, and here how it look like, right, don't miss, bang.
you see how it looks like then. So this is how the offers works and this is how we can work it out. It's like you have only two upsells here. Upsell trigger and upsell offer. So if you can have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments. And yep. You can have the upsell settings here that you need to like optimize and things if you want to. And yep. So thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.